Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Paris are here. As you can see, I have a Nokia 6 in my hand. And this Nokia 6 uh, is running Android Audio Beta, the Android Audio Beta which has been uh, pushed by uh, HMD to uh, Nokia 6 users in India yesterday. So, I mean, so because of some issues and bugs or something, uh, Nokia 6 users in India are the last to get the Android Audio Beta. But, yeah, I mean, finally it's here. So, we thought of doing a hands-on where we are going to demo the features that uh, Nokia 6 gets with Android Audio Beta and all sort of features, some features which are like officially mentioned, some like unmentioned. So, uh, starting with uh, the feature part, so uh, let's first talk about uh, like an unmentioned feature which was also available in Nokia 5 here also. You can see that I can uh, get this app drawer or app list by scrolling up from anywhere. That is very nice. Uh, I mean, earlier you used to go here and then, you know, scroll up to get it. But now you do it here from here or do it from here. It will come. So it's quite uh, convenient, in my opinion. So that is one, uh, you know, unmentioned feature. Now coming to all the mentioned features, there are many changes that Android Oreo uh, brings over Android Nougat. This only not, uh, I mean, this uh, we are not talking about only the, I mean, UI changes or stuff like that. We are also talking about some very, uh, you know, user experience enhancing features. So we'll come uh, to, to everything one by one. So the first thing that you should notice or you will notice uh, the how the UI of this notification center or action center has changed and lots of changes the entire thing you know the whole all the icons of profile then edit then settings it has moved to the bottom earlier it used to be here you can uh, notice the um, uh, the color of the notification center which has changed from a darker one to this shade so this is a kind of uh, easy like uh, easy to notice and easy to uh, grab so and then you can see all the difference or all the changes which are there in the icons. So all, all of the icons, most of them have like uh, lots of changes here. So basically lots of UI changes, icon changes. Then the features wise like uh, all of these action buttons which have like uh, the settings etc that has moved to the bottom now if you tap on the settings you will again notice more changes more ui changes so you know the settings page it has gone undergone a big revamp so it has become really uh, uncluttered earlier it was cluttered so if you enter the settings page you will see a long uh, page which needs to be scrolled a lot so for finding a finding a particular setting, you have to really scroll a lot and you know focus a lot. So uh, for improving that user experience, Google has uncluttered, decluttered this uh, settings. So how it has been done? So now you have major uh, you know settings uh, like uh, major headings of the settings here on this page. So it has been like uh, now you can see network and internet, connected devices, apps and notification, battery display, sound storage, security and location, user account. So this is a major revamp of the settings page. Now, if we go to let's say any of like apps and notification, you will notice another UI change which is advanced. Now, now some of the uh, settings will be available under this major you know settings or so major settings apps notification. Then you have sub settings like apps info notification app permissions available here. Then there is something called advanced. You tap on advanced, you will see default apps, emergency broadcast, special app access. So you know again this uh, concept or theme of uh, you know decluttering is even here so now uh, if you go to this notifications you will notice a new thing a new feature for apps so basically this is called notification dots so here uh, what are the notification dot will come to that but uh, you know now this is a new concept introduced so if there is any particular app has some notification to show there will be a dot on the app so we will have to quickly go and find if there is any such app which we can actually show it to you but i don't think for now i have any app which wants to show a notification so let's open this google play let's see if anything is there no so most of the you know 
uh, currently so what will happen that if any app has to show, show any notification to us there will be a small dot shown here on the ui see <laughs> so we, we could quickly i mean uh, it's like very very good that we just got a notification so as soon as a notification arrived for gmail you could see notice a dot here so that is really good so this is called notification dot a good feature new feature so let us quickly go here go back to where we were so apart from notification dots there are more uh, new features for apps so if we go to let's say one of the apps here we will quickly choose an app where we can actually show you what uh, like more changes are there so if you go to duo <clears throat> you can go to app notification not only the notification dot is here you will notice this category so you can actually decide which categories of notification from a particular app you want to be shown so i can just say that i don't want uncategorized it will be switched off I don't want it to for call notification it can be switched off so these two features notification dot and categories for notifications these are powerful features and really enhance your user experience so this is what also comes uh, with oreo for apps now we were in settings so if we go back to the settings you will notice even more changes so as we said the theme of decluttering is everywhere so this is how the system looks like now after the decluttering of everything system update it has like moved so earlier you will go from about phone and you will get the system update but here you go to system and the system update you notice it here so you know it, it it's obviously easier to find the settings similarly you go to google different settings are here and then you go to accessibility you can notice all the settings here but this is all easy much easier to find now You can see the battery settings they have undergone lots of uh, changes and improvements so from nougat there's lots of changes so this background activity manager this is something which actually uh, helps you in doing lots of things in controlling of how many apps you want to be run uh, in the background and that can help you in saving not only a battery but also improve the performance So uh, Oreo is even better than Nougat in terms of you know battery performance and battery life management. So now coming to some interesting uh, settings and changes. So we were talking about uh, uh, I mean a new feature. Okay, so we will have to again go back to basically the apps so that so that we can show it to you. It's a very interesting feature which is picture in picture mode. So we had posted a tutorial about it on Nokia Browser, but we will just try to demo it here. So uh, if the app supports, so let's say the Chrome, Google Chrome, it supports the picture in picture mode. So where will you see it? So if you go to Chrome settings, you will see the picture in picture. Here you see this allow picture in picture. So we can use the Chrome in picture in picture mode. So I will just try to demo it. If we go to Chrome. Let's say we go to Vimeo. So I, I mean, the sad part is that uh, it does not work with YouTube, but only works with YouTube Red. So this is ridiculous. So let's try to find something which we can just demo here. So this is a trailer. So if it opens, so like Vimeo has opened in the full screen, the trailer has opened in the full screen. Now, if you send it to the background by tapping here, window you can notice a PIP window opening here and it's working. You can keep on working. You can, you can do whatever you are doing. And this video, the small PIP window, uh, video, VIP window will open with us. Now you double tap it. And you can get it so you go to the full screen you minimize and you get this yes you
If you tap on it, it will increase, the size will increase to a bigger one and it will again minimize. If you want to close it, you can just close it here. So this is how the PIP mode works like. It's very interesting actually. So <clears throat> that's there. Now coming to two more very interesting features that we would like to show it to you. So if you go to display, so in advanced, you have this ambient display feature. So this was available on Nokia 5.2. On Nokia 8, it, it's not available because Nokia 8 already comes with glance feature. But this shows that, I mean, if you receive a notification, your screen will wake up. So this is what ambient display does. And here you can see. Another very interesting feature is night light. So what is night light is... Uh, to make it better uh, on your eyes when you read something let's say you're reading an ebook or something like that in night you can just turn it on and it makes your display go amber so it reduces the amount of light blue light basically and you can increase or decrease the intensity of this not only you can do that you can also schedule it so let's say there's a customized schedule or sunset to sunrise so sunset to sunrise it will uh, just dim the light or dim the display it will make it more amber and as I said you can increase or decrease the density intensity of this uh, you know uh, nightlight feature so if I increase the intensity it will become more amber when it switches itself on and if I do so somewhere around I think a middle ground let's hit so this is good this looks good you can manually turn it on and turn it off or you can just set a schedule this is how the nightlight feature works so we talked about three very interesting features picture in picture mode and we talked about uh, ambient display and we talked about the night light we also talked about what are the important changes that have arrived in terms of apps notification notification dot and then we saw the uh, categories of apps notifications we saw the ui changes which are here so very very important ui changes quite interesting actually if you go to settings, settings have been decluttered, which is very, very interesting again, according to me, very useful, basically. You, you can actually, uh, you, you will actually feel like using them. The battery uh, settings, they have undergone lots of change, lots of revamp. Then you have this background activity manager, the features, which really can help you in uh, getting the best out of your battery life. Now there are more features here, more changes here in under OYO. If we talk about emoji, you are a fan of doing emoji, then you can see that uh, there are like whole new set of emoji here with the Android Oreo. The whole, uh, you know, new uh, set. So that is very, very good. So this is according to the new uh, standard of emoji, uh, like new standard or new uh, set of emoji that is like internationally approved and it has arrived with Android Oreo. So, okay, so these were like uh, major changes, unmentioned and uh, like popular or very well known. So, that we try to demo on uh, Nokia 6. And uh, coming to the some interesting thing, like coming to the part where we talk about the how, I mean, how the performance has been impacted by the new upgrade. We, you can notice that it is all very, very good actually. We never faced any issue. Uh, I mean, Nokia 6 never had such kind of issue as like uh, you know Nokia 5 had like if you send this to back to the uh, multitasking from multitasking it does not uh, refresh itself it resumes very well okay now coming to uh, some those kind of new features of Android Oreo which are like more impactful of uh, more impact uh, full on uh, how you use the device how you uh, you know talk about the user experience so there are two features that I would quickly like to show it to you so one is uh, that if you have a mail where you see the like phone number the address etc so now using machine uh, language or machine learning language so uh, Android Oreo uh, I mean which we call like machine uh, learning or machine intelligence so AI a part of AI so it, it uses that feature to actually provide you with options so let's say if I had just using a address so it will give me that those kind of option if i using 
or I, if I copy a phone number, so it will give me different, like it will give me option of calling. So uh, what I wanted to show is that due to this Android Oreo's background improvements, it has become smarter. So in a, your mail or something, if you it finds the address, if you find a phone number, it will provide you with that kind of option. So as, as I copy the phone, it gives me option to call directly. If I copy the text, it tells me that you can actually copy it, share it, etc. Web search. So this is one. The another uh, feature which has arrived with Android Audio, which is very useful, is in terms of autofill passwords. So if you have saved your password for a particular app or with using an account, so it will be saved and you can use it across across other apps too. So which is very interesting. So you save the password for once and you allow you to autofill in uh, when you are using other apps or next time it will just autofill so that is very interesting it enhances your user experience a lot so we were talking about performance now so as i told it, it i mean i find it very very fluid using android audio and android 6 so basically i have not encountered any bug or anything like that till now i mean we i just got this update yesterday so i can hardly tell you that there will be any bug or anything but uh, for now everything is smooth it's going quite good and we just demoed all the features new features and how it is all available on nokia 6 with android audio beta so basically if we found any any bug or any issue we will come back we will share uh, maybe like one day or after one day or two day how the performance is of android audio and nokia 6 uh, when we will do a detailed uh, you know performance test of uh, android audio and nokia 6 so till then uh, we will say thanks to you for watching and hope you have liked this video stay tuned for uh, more on nokia power user uh, site and on nokia power user youtube channel thanks for watching